A 10-year-old boy was found in a trash can in his mother's garage. He had been dead for seven months. Police found the body of Zion Staples in a home after lying in a dumpster for seven months. The child's mother, 37-year-old Sushi Staples, faces charges of concealing a death, failure to report the death of a child under 13 and obstruction of justice. Rock Island County Coroner Brian Gustafson conducted an autopsy in Rockford, Illinois, and said preliminary results indicate the boy's death is suspicious. Due to the fact that the investigation is in its infancy, no further information will be forthcoming at this time, he said, according to a neighbor, she is perplexed as to why it took police so long to find the boy and what led led them to discover him. I had a dead raccoon lying in my backyard and we put it in the garbage can. I mean in a garbage bag and then put it in the garbage can, she said, according to the TV station. And I couldn't even stand that smell while I was waiting for garbage day. So I can't imagine that with that wind direction, no one would smell that odor. The neighbor had contacted the Department of Children and Families several times over the past few months because Staples was allegedly saying strange things about her son. According to her, on January 3rd, Staples told her that Christmas would never be the same again. Her call to DCFS on July 25th prompted a welfare check, which led police to find Zion's body. Andre and Danielle Bayuda, neighbors who moved into the home last month, also told the publication, noting that the house appeared to be a happy family. We saw it, we saw the two girls. You know, they come in the backyard sometimes, for example, Daniel said. I've seen them drawing with chalk on the back driveway. Playing on scooters in front of the garage, it looked very normal," Andre added. 